Mr. Smith mentioned some of the bicameral problems. Um, my colleague, Mr. Perlmutter, as you know, you've heard from, um, has been pushing this safe banking bill for quite some time. Um, and we voted on it last mm -hmm. on the on 41921. 321 people voted for it, and 101 people voted no. It was 215 Democrats and 106 Republicans. That's a pretty strong bipartisan vote. Uh, and yet every time it gets sent over to the Senate, uh, I think it's the Senate Majority Leader. I don't really quite know what the hell his problem is, but uh, what he is doing is he's making it very difficult for a lot of small businesses um, and minority-owned businesses, too, uh, dealing with the issue of cannabis to be able to move forward uh, and to expand and to hire more people. Uh, and so it, I, I know he's not here right now, but um, you've heard... I'm deaf in my left ear hearing him uh, telling me <laughs> uh, how, how frustrated he is um, over this. And I, I share that frustration because, I, you know, I mean, you know, at some point uh, when we talk about getting to deals, um, it, it, you know, it just can't be one person, no matter who he or she may be, that just says no. So anyway, just for the record, I want to, I think I speak for at least the Democrats on this committee, uh, when I say that uh, there is a great deal of frustration over the way the Senate has treated him and this issue, uh, that every one of us um, have constituents who care about this issue. So, if I, if I yeah, could just because I think that's a, it's a really important issue, and and I've I've worked very closely with with Congressman Perlmutter on this, and I think he's right. And, and the impact of this is a practical matter to not have the Safe Banking Act is incredibly dangerous um, to small businesses that you know basically they have to run a cash business. They can't do the normal banking that is available to them um, in the states where where marijuana dis di distribution is legal. And you know we've worked this issue as you said, worked in a bipartisan way. Um, and, you know, I, I pushed this so hard. I mean, I, you know, I even seriously considered saying, you know, we're just going to put it in and the Senate can deal with it. Um, but the bottom line is if the majority leader in the Senate has this opinion at the moment, it's worth noting that the minority leader, um, has a similar position in the Senate that they don't want this included. You know, that's not the way the process works because I'm sure they'd come back and say, well, here's five things that we wanted that you didn't do. Um, in this case... I think this is a special case right. because not only are they not moving this forward, they're not having a hearing. Right. Okay, you yeah, say you don't right. want it this way. Well, okay. Right. You know, this is a huge thing that is very, very strongly supported. You got something different, give it a shot, and they're not doing it. So, you know, I push this as hard as I've ever pushed anything, but at the end of the day, I agree with uh, Mr. Rogers. We can't have amendments to this. It's a house of cards. You pull one, and then you got 25 other people say, well, what about my thing? And that leads to another 25 people say, what about my thing? So we got the best deal we could get, and, and we hope that it is not amended so that we can yeah. get it to the Senate through the process. Well, I just, I, I, for, at, at this moment, for those who, are, who complain about the fact that we haven't addressed the, the issue of safe banking, and by the way, criminal justice issues with regard to cannabis, uh, the, the blame is over in the Senate, period. 